Hi, I'm Chris from Balmar, and today I'd like to show you how to install the Deutsch style connector onto the SmartLink cable included with your SG200 battery monitor kit. Now, if you notice on the factory, we've installed a connector on one end and left the other end with pre crimped sockets ready to install in the connector. And in the kit, there's a little baggie, it has the connector, a piece of heat shrink, you want to slide that over before you do anything. <laughs> it has a thing called a wedge lock. So what you want to do is look at the back of the connector itself. You'll notice that each socket has a number, one through four, and those correspond to the colors on the wire. Number one is green, number two is white, number three is red, and number four is black. Now, if you're really paying attention, you'll notice on the factory install connector, there's a shield wire going into the same socket as the black wire. Now, you only need that on one end of the cable or the other, so as long as it's still there, we don't need it here, and that's why we've trimmed it off for you. So what you want to do is you grab the wire by uh, uh, about an inch from the socket and just push it into and insert it fully into the socket. You'll feel and hear a click when it's inserted properly. You do this for all four of the wires. Again, feel and hear a click. And then look on the outside and you'll see that the end of each socket is just about flush with the face of the connector. Then take the wedge lock which keeps the pins aligned properly, or keeps the sockets aligned properly, sorry, and press it down into the hole, apply pressure to you again, feel and hear a click. At that point, you should have a, a perfectly installed connector. Uh, you can look at it and compare it to the factory installed connector. Uh, you should just be able to see the insides of the socket if you angle it just right looking in the connector. Good luck with your new battery monitor, and thanks for watching.